know, when you when we started doing this, we started doing this in June <clears throat> or July, I guess, of uh, 2012. You know, and to, to, we didn't go to archives to get started. We just what we did was when whenever you listen to the news, of, you know, your local news station will usually report when the police have killed somebody. So we just started from there, just taking articles from the newspaper, listening to TV reports, and that's how we began uh, to compile this. We hope to go back earlier than 2012, but all this came just from newspaper and, and TV reports. And I can tell you from experience that, you know, we've gone down to the Memphis Police Department several times and, and passed these out to people. And uh, I have seen people take these and actually sit down on the concrete steps and start reading it because they had no idea that the Memphis police had killed this many people. Because you hear about this incident here, you hear about that incident there, but they never tell you what the total number is. And this is, you know, a, a lot of people in a three-year period to be killed. And this is Memphis, Tennessee. It's not L.A. It's not New York. But you probably haven't heard about this because there's a big cover-up going on. Uh, they, they, you know, their whole thing is what happens in Memphis stays in Memphis. So, but I'm just saying for those of you who are from different cities, just start listening to your news. You can start building your own body count very easily by every time of, uh, and you know, you can start out with one person. You, somebody gets killed, you put out a flyer. The body count in, you know, uh, Columbus, Ohio, this is how many were killed. This is the first one. The next one, and you keep on adding to it. But uh, I, I get you. Uh, the thing is, what they have done to the movement, or what potentially is coming to do, just as movement, is that they've made people think. And, and, and one of the things I can say about the uh, Black Lives Matter movement, I don't agree with all the politics, but one thing I can say is that um, they've been able to get a national presence around the idea of police terrorism. Now, you know, um, what the government had done for years is to make people believe that somehow what happened in, um, let's say, Albuquerque. Was it Albuquerque when the cops came in? Did I say it's came in? Albuquerque or Philadelphia or, or Chicago or whatever. These things that happen locally there somehow don't have anything to do with what happens in your city. Or I, you know what I'm saying? And this is the this is a dangerous mis, uh, uh, misperception on our behalf to let, even let them run that past us. You need you know it's important to talk about what's happening in in Ferguson or what's happening in New York or whatever. But in Memphis, for instance, where all these people have been killed there, and with a fake ass group set up by the cops, a so called anti police brutality group set up by the cops whose only role has been to call for a citizen review board, a citizen law enforcement review board, uh, with weak, toothless, you know, a program that puts all of it under the cops who did the killing in the first place. Uh, they, never, they never talk about the people who've been killed in Memphis. They never talk about them. And uh, this is a problem with the movement now is that they focus on other cities, but they don't focus on where they are. Well, what the hell is happening in your city? You know, what, what's going on? You know, you need to be able to to uh, talk to families. You need to be able to talk to, you need to be able to go in and do research, <coughs> documentary research in libraries, uh, in newspaper morgue files, and whatever. You'll be amazed how many cases you can unearth just by doing that. You, you know, you'll be amazed. And then you'll be able to write up, you know, the, the, the bare details about that. And you can do further research. You can do whatever you want to do. You can, but you can compile it and put it in a, a body count, you know. And it's extremely important. It's extremely, extremely important. Um, as I said about the police, you know, we need to undermine in the minds of the, of the ordinary person. Uh, we're not interested in speaking to the government, except from a position of strength, first of all. 
That's all we care about is the government. We just we just want to sock them in the mouth. But uh, as far as the reason why we're doing this, it is to be able to educate the masses of people. It's a tool to educate the masses of people about not only what the crimes were that happened, but also about the, the nature of the state and police violence. We need to be able to educate people about that because people will argue with you all day. Like I said, like, oh, this is an, oh, you're just besmirching our police officers. Uh, uh, they're doing a great job, and, and uh, they wouldn't uh, kill anyone uh, without a cause. Uh, uh, I don't believe that, you know. And so, to make people believe it, you got to beat them down with the truth. That's what, that's what you have to do. Beat them down. With the truth. Not only have they killed this person. They kill that person almost identically, and so forth, so on, and so on, and so on. And, and, and you'll be able to find out many times the killer cop who better kill somebody in 2014 or 2015 is the same cop that killed somebody back uh, so a few years ago. We found out about a, a, a killer cop in, uh, in Memphis who killed a 15 year old kid uh, in what, 2013 was it? 2012. 2012, okay, late 2012. And, um, Come to find, he had killed another man in 20, uh, 2009. So, uh, and, and we don't even know how many others are on the force like that. But the police uh, unions protect these people, get them back to their jobs and all that anyway. So, oh, this is a, a misunderstanding. He was doing his job. He just made a mistake. Uh, uh, it was a, oops. This whole idea of coming to somebody's house and shooting them and all, oops. You know, if the man's dead, they will holler, oops. Um, this kind of this kind of thing uh, has to be pointed out that, that this is a systematic crime. All right, go ahead. Let me ask you a question. I'm not finished. But you can't. <laughs> he's, he's, he's burning him up. He's, he's got no, it's not that it's burning. But you, you're talking yeah. about Memphis, yeah. and I'm wondering. You know, you have the numbers, but what what is your opinion of why um, Memphis or a case from Memphis? If you don't have the shining cases in media. Why, I don't want to shine, I don't know what the right word is, because uh, you know how there's this one case that might resonate with the no. public in that way. Is that case not happened, or has it just not been brought to the forefront? What is it? It's happened. It's happened. Uh, I mean, if you look at the, this, uh, this kid, uh, Justin Thompson, who was killed in September 2012, now, you would think that would have been a case that would have gotten uh, national attention, but the police. And the politicians in Memphis, they started to cover up immediately. Usually when somebody is killed by the police, they may not release their name immediately because the family has to be notified first. But in this case, we couldn't get any details about this kid being killed for 24 hours. We just say, the news media would say, well, we've been informed that the Memphis police killed somebody, but we don't have any details. It was 24 hours before they release everything because they started to cover up. He was a 15 year old kid, all right, 15 years old. And it turns out, what we found out later on, we, nobody knew it at the time, but um, this, uh, the cop that killed him, uh, his mother found this out, and she filed a lawsuit on, on it later on after her son was killed. But the cop that uh, killed this boy, uh, you know, he was having, uh, he was actually, actually molesting him. He was having, you know, improper sexual relationship with him. The police and the politicians found all this out, so they went into the big cover-up. Okay. And so his name again? Justin Thompson. You look under September 2012. So but this is what goes on in Memphis. They, you know, they do the big cover-up. So this is the one case you think would have gotten national attention, but they started to cover up immediately. I don't know what the laws are in Missouri, but in Tennessee, what they can do, the uh, the prosecutor in uh, Shelby County there, she turned the case over to the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, the state police. So the state police start to investigate. By law in Tennessee, they do not have to reveal their findings. So we've never got any official report about how this boy died. We know as much as we know because his mother got his cell phone back <coughs> after he was killed. And she saw all these messages between her son and this cop. She figured out what was going on. And she filed a lawsuit. Unfortunately, she died of cancer last year. I don't know how this happened to her lawsuit. But that's how come we know what we know. 